So good to be with you this morning. I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces and we're here again. <clears throat> this is November 10th. Tomorrow we know is Veterans Day and we're here to commemorate Veterans Day as we normally do here in Battery Park. So I'm really uh, pleased to be with you. I am Reverend Mark Hughes. I am the Executive uh, Director of the Racial Justice Alliance. I'm also a local minister, but most importantly, I am the commander of the Veterans of Foreign Wars, post 782. I'm proud to serve and also take it as an awesome responsibility. So welcome uh, all of you who are here uh, to commemorate with us on this hollow ground in this solemn moment at 11 o'clock on this day uh, as we commemorate Veterans Day. So welcome to you all. And if you would join me, please, as you would face the colors for the Pledge of Allegiance. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for that. Please rem remain facing and we will now um, hear the uh, national anthem. Comrades, present hope. I'm pleased to introduce, uh, first of all, a good friend of the Veterans of Foreign War and also a good personal friend as well, uh, the mayor of the great city of uh, Burlington, who's, who's been mayor now for, I believe, about 12 years here in the city of Burlington. I'm proud uh, to introduce to you, here on his home turf, um, our favorite mayor, Mayor Moreau Weinberger. Thank you, Mark. Thank you to the VFW Post for once again bringing us together like this. Thank you all for coming out and being part of it. I want to um, note and uh, welcome, I saw the Speaker of the House, Jill Kowinski, has joined us, as well as Ward 6 City Councilor Joan Shannon. Thank you uh, for joining us as well. Um, <clears throat> for 12 years, it's been, as Mark said, it's been my honor to honor you hear every Veterans Day to reflect on Vermont and Burlington's proud tradition of military service and to honor the millions of Americans who have served in our armed forces. If you too have uh, been committed to coming to these Battery Park events, you will have heard me tell the story of my grandfather, Teddy, um, a number of times by now, but I hope you'll indulge me once more because I do always think of him on this day. Teddy served in World War II he went ashore in Normandy about a month after D-Day, and then he was soon on the front lines in France as the Allies retook the country and then pushed the Nazis back towards Germany. Just a few months into his deployment on what was then known as Armistice Day, November 11th, 1944, my mother, Ethel, was born back here in the States. And I will say as a quick aside, since I think for the first time ever this event is happening on November 10th, I'm going to get to be down there at Heartland with her on her birthday, which uh, never happens. So I appreciate the, the, the break in tradition there. 
Um, fortunately, Teddy survived the war and returned to America and to his family, and he got to spend many happy years with the family. I was the oldest of his grandchildren and was fortunate to get to know him as a wonderful storyteller and a very gentle and decent man. However, he never got back that chance to be there for the birth of his first child. So many veterans, Vermont veterans families have similar stories of sacrifice and too many, of course, have lost far more than our family did. To the veterans here with us today and to your families, I am proud to stand on behalf of a grateful city and say thank you for all that you've done to keep Burlington and to keep Vermont safe. I'm grateful for your dedication to our country and I'm proud of your accomplishments and your service. The city owes you so much and as Senator Sanders always reminds us and I'm sure we'll hear again in a moment, uh, veterans deserve our support and respect, not just today, but every day. And in that spirit, in my time as mayor, I've been committed to ending the shameful reality of veterans' homelessness. And while we face unprecedented challenges with homelessness right now, we have made significant progress towards that goal. And I'm proud to once again be working with the VFW Post 782 as we pursue our goal of ending all unsheltered homelessness. And in a very tangible way, this year, right now, we are working together to open a new warming shelter at the VFW property in about a month. And next spring, the existing building is going to come down and together, VFW, the city, and Champlain Housing Trust are going to build new affordable apartments, which will include veterans housing, um, and a new home for the VFW on that site. And it's uh, very exciting to be getting close to the groundbreaking on that day. In my <clears throat> first years as mayor, when grappling with the day-to-day -day challenges of here in Burlington, the battlegrounds of our past foreign wars often felt distant, increasingly distant. Today, the horrors of war are very present in our lives. Every day we are confronted with images of war in allied nations in Europe and the Middle East. The men and women of Ukraine are paying the ultimate sacrifice in this long war against President Putin that is critical for our safety here in America. And now it's the innocent people of Israel and Palestine living in terror following Hamas's horrific attack is once again clear that at times all that separates us from a world dominated by tyranny and terrorism is the willingness of free people to fight for liberty. We are grateful, of course, that it is not our soldiers fighting today on the front lines of democracy. However, we must stand with those resolutely in aid and in spirit with those who are. In these conflicts, we see a fresh reminder of how important it is that so many Americans are willing to wear the uniform and defend the values and safety of this country. Standing with you twice a year on Memorial Day and on Veterans Day has been one of the great honors of these past 12 years. And uh, I wanna be clear, I will do everything I can to ensure the next Bayer of Burlington understands and continues this important tradition, which I believe dates back at least to the time when Mayor Sanders was in this office. And again, I wanna say thank you uh, to all of you and happy Veterans Day. Thank you, Mayor Weinberger. So good to have you here with us again, yet again. Uh, we can, I know we can always count on you uh, being present. My favorite senator is here today. Senator Bernie Sanders, say no more. Thank you, Mark, and let me thank Mark and Michelle helping to organize the event in the VFW once again, uh, reminding us of the importance of Veterans Day. Um, I think I've been here since the early 80s uh, when I was mayor of the city. And what I have believed then and what I believe now, at the end of the day, there is nothing more than we can ask of a human being than to put their lives on the line to defend 
us and other human beings. There's nothing more than we can ask of anybody. And that's what veterans have done uh, for so many years, and that is what they are doing today. So today is a day to say thank you uh, to the millions and millions of veterans who have defended our country, who have put their lives on the line. And it's something that it's, we will never forget, and it's important that our kids and grandchildren uh, understand uh, as well. Uh, as a longtime member of the Senate uh, Veterans Committee, uh, I have done my best to make sure that we provide all of our veterans with the health care and the benefits to which they are entitled to. And I'm very proud that just last year we passed the PACT Act, which finally said to all of our soldiers who served around toxic environments where the wounds may have been invisible, but people died of cancer and other diseases because they inhaled all kinds of toxicity, that we are going to provide the health care and the benefits that you are entitled to. We passed that, and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of veterans in Vermont and throughout this country are now taking advantage uh, of that program. Uh, also, I'm happy to tell you that we're making progress here in Vermont uh, in expanding and improving community-based outreach clinics for our veterans. We have a wonderful clinic right here in Burlington, uh, but because veterans are using it in large numbers, as they should, we're going to need a new clinic, and I think in the very near future we're going to see construction of a new clinic, and I'm proud of that. Um, at the end of the day, uh, as a nation, uh, we have got to come together around values of justice and of peace. And to make that happen, uh, we are going to need a people who are prepared to sacrifice, and that's what our veterans are doing. So uh, once again, I want to, from the bottom of my heart, thank all of the men and women who, have, who are serving in the military uh, and pledge to continue to working with them to make sure that life is as good as possible for them. Thank you very much. Accident post. Got to look camera ready. Um, forgive my voice, um, but Mark has extended me the privilege, uh, and as well as um, one of our longtime members, Robert Colby Sr., the opportunity to thank Senator Sanders for his many years of support to veterans um, and military members. And so, with that, Senator. Senator, we recognize how much many want in terms of your influence in the in Congress and with all the, 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 the fame that you have grown to um, experience over the years, um, you have not forgotten veterans. And to us, that is meaningful because often we are forgotten. So thank you for your dedication and support to us your thank you for your service has translated into meaningful, actionable um, programs and benefits, and we will never forget you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Michelle, and thank you, uh, Bob, uh, for the remarks in the presentation. Now we'll have remarks offered on behalf of Senator Peter Welch. Um, we have Mr. James McNerney here, a lead caseworker for the Veterans Issues.
Hi, good morning all. Uh, my name is James McNerney. I'm the uh, lead case worker for uh, Veterans Issues in Senator Welch's Burlington office. He sends his regrets that he couldn't be here today, but he asked me to share the following remarks on his behalf. So today we gather here to pay tribute to the brave men and women who have served and sacrificed for our great nation. Veterans Day is a time for us to express our gratitude, our admiration, and our respect for those who have answered the call of duty, and it's an opportunity to reflect on the profound impact these heroes have had on our lives and for our freedom. Vermont has had a long history uh, and a proud history of service and sacrifice. When our nation was in danger, our citizens uh, demonstrate uh, again and again tremendous bravery and commitment to the principles of freedom that are at the heart of our democracy, with Vermonters often leading that charge. We're fortunate to have such courageous men and women among us willing to step forward and make that ultimate sacrifice in defense of our values, in defense of our communities, and for each of us individually. At the forefront of our gratitude, we must never forget the unimaginable challenges and hardships that are endured by our service members, our veterans, and their families. They carry both physical and emotional scars and yet they continue to stand tall as role models of strength and resilience for all of us. But as we all know, their commitment and our admiration uh, does not and cannot end there. Um, let us all take a minute too to honor and reflect upon the unique bond between our veterans who through their shared experience of wearing the uniform are able to assist, support, and understand those challenges and hardships in ways that uh, none of us will ever be able to. So to our service members and veterans, you have shown us the meaning of selflessness, of courage, and of honor, and in doing so, we owe you a debt of gratitude that cannot be repaid. In closing, uh, today uh, and tomorrow are, are days for each of us to reach out in love and in support and gratitude to those veterans who have made such an impact in our lives. And it's also an opportunity for us to be mindful, not only of the folks we honor here uh, today, this morning, but uh, of the need to be mindful of their sacrifices on each and every day uh, hereafter. So uh, again, on behalf of the Senator, uh, thank you to all of our veterans. Um, we owe you a debt of gratitude uh, and uh, we will never be able to repay it. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Mr. McNerney, and, and uh, we um, and please uh, send our regards to Senator Welsh and um, and uh, let him know we're we're still here fighting the fight for him. Now we have remarks offered um, on behalf of Congresswoman uh, Congresswoman Becca Balance office. Um, we have um, an old friend here, Mr. David Schur. Good morning, everybody. Uh, the Congresswoman very much regrets that she couldn't be here today, but she did want me to say these remarks on her behalf. Today, as we gather to commemorate Veterans Day, we honor and remember the brave Americans who have served to protect our nation. Veterans Day is about paying tribute to the courage, dedication, and selflessness of our service members while recommitting to a future that upholds the ideals they fought for. America's soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines serve the cause of a nation striving for justice where the rights and dignity of all are protected. They serve to protect the ideal of a nation where every voice is heard. Let's honor them by continuing the fight for a more perfect union where no one is left behind. We can fully honor our veterans only by ensuring that we serve and care for them when they return from duty. Caring for our veterans is just as much a cost of war as the munitions needed to fight, and we must never forget to do whatever is required to provide for those who have borne the battle. We should also recognize the sacrifices of their families back home, the mothers and fathers, spouses and children who carry the weight of their absence and support our troops from home. On this Veter Veterans Day, I'm reminded of the principles that unite us as Americans. Words like liberty and justice for all must be more than a line in the Pledge of Allegiance, but a reality we constantly strive for. Let us also serve our veterans by continuing the work that remains to live up to the highest ideals of the nation they serve to protect. I extend my deepest gratitude to the veterans of Vermont and across our country. Your unwavering dedication to our shared values inspires us all. We pledge to never forget or leave behind all of you who have served. Thank you. <clears throat> it's 
good to see uh, some old faces too, uh, along with the new faces. Um, and uh, David sure is definitely one of the old faces. <laughs> good to see you. Now uh, we've come to a time uh, where um, we're going to have a little bit of fun. So here's what I want you to do. So how many how many folks are here are, um, s are retired or um, former service members? Or I think we're all always service members. But service members, raise your hand. Okay. So we, we've got the illustrious and industrious Larry Holt here with us today. And we're going to play a medley of the service songs. So Larry, let's do it. If I can add one thing, I start with U.S. Army song. My father and my cool. twin brother uh, served in the 252nd Engineer Combat Battalion that built bridges for land. So I've always honored he and my uncle. So when you hear your song, the song that represents the, 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 the service that you served in, if you could just wave your hand or something like that so we know you're here. Let's keep it fun. Let's keep it real. Okay? Let's go, Larry. beat Navy. <laughs> and next. Where's my zoomies at? And just to the, to the Air Force folks, from an ar Army guy, we never really have liked you very much. <laughs> okay, just saying. Uh, I wanted to acknowledge a couple of folks, um, and one in particular. Um, there's, a, there's greatness amongst us, and um, I, I believe uh, some of you are, know about um, the history of the Parmelo family uh, in the community. Uh, some of you, um, have had you know different dealings and experiences with them and you've also seen how uh, gracious and how generous this family has been and how um, instrumental in just how impactful this family has been in this community and well I came to tell you uh, today uh, that they've also been very generous and incredibly supportive of uh, post 782 Howard Plant 
here uh, in the city of Burlington, the oldest uh, Veterans of Foreign War uh, in uh, this state. Uh, not only uh, did um, Ernie ex expand upon his, his father's uh, vision in, in business, but he's also continued to walk uh, in that path um, of just graciousness and kindness and, and, and how he's contributed to uh, the work that uh, we've done, there's simply not enough time uh, to explain all of these things to you. But I'll give it a shot. So um, there's, um, I know we've, we've spent some time um, with Bernie, even with this latest endeavor that uh, the mayor mentioned in, in, in providing us advice on how to move forward in entering into this redevelopment project. Huge, huge in, in supporting us in, in those endeavors as well as um, even literally just, you know, bringing wheelbarrows of money over to, well, I mean, maybe not that much, but, but, but just being so instrumental uh, in, in advice uh, and support. Uh, it's the kindness of somebody's time and insight that truly says thank you uh, to veterans for their service. So, um, Ernie, get up here. I want to talk to you for a minute. Uh, Come up here, Jim, please. Uh, give it up. Thank you so much. Can I hug you? Can I hug you? Of course you can. <laughs> I said, can I hug you? And Ernie looks at me like, huh? <laughs> so, uh, Jim, can you please come up? So this, this is going to seem kind of dopey at first, but we, we were trying to figure out, you know, what we could do just to say, hey man, thanks. Yeah. You know, we, we just wanna, you know, it's sometimes it's okay to pick up the phone, maybe send a note across, text you or something, hey, thanks. But we wanna acknowledge you. We wanna acknowledge you in front of everybody out here. So everybody can see and appreciate, you know, who who you are and what you mean to us. You're, you are a very, very important uh, element of the, the work that's not just being done in community, but also behind the scenes, the stuff that you guys never hear about Ernie's behind, and he's been huge for us. So thank you, uh, Jim. Please. Hey, Ernie. Uh, Ernie's a friend from high school. Get in that mic. <laughs> and our, that our, our, our paths have crossed just over the decades. I don't. Well, okay. Just stand in front of <laughs> our paths have crossed over the decades, and I'm glad they're crossing again today. Uh, uh, Ernie and his father have been long time. Uh, friends and patrons of the post. And most recently, as Mark said, he gave us a contribution toward our redevelopment expenses by paying some appraisers fees for us. And it's much appreciated. Uh, Ernie, I know you do this all the time, but it's a big deal to us. It's Thank a big you. deal. It's a huge deal. If I could just say one Please thing. Do. I, Please do. Mark, it was very kind for what you said, but the reality is mine was such a tiny contribution in what veterans provide for this country. We partnered with the VFW for 40 years. Mm. My heart is open. I've been proud to be a part of it. I joined Bernie and Moreau and the rest of the team. Our thanks is to you, not to me. So, but, but thank you, it was very kind words, but uh, we're here for you always, thanks. Please accept this coin on behalf of our, as a token of our appreciation for your gift. This is a t coin of, of Howard Plant point, uh, Post 782. Thank you very so much. Kind work. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, hi. Ernie! Thank you. Sarah and uh, Jim, can you please, uh, sh Sarah and Al, can you please come up? Thank you. We. We took this as an opportunity also to recognize some of our post members as, as, as well as our, 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 our leadership team. Come on up here. These, these folks, no, they didn't expect it. No, this, that, I'm going to always get somebody off guard. So I, I, I want to introduce you um, to uh, Al Belushi as well as Sarah Tullos. Uh, these, these are key players. Sarah is my senior vice commander, and I can't do anything without her. So, Sarah, I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you do and how you contribute to the team. And Al, you're my guy. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. You just missed. <laughs> so, wow, it's, um, 
time has gone by. Uh, we're a little bit ahead of schedule, but I'm not going to take advantage of it. You're still going to get out of here. Um, ladies and gentlemen and distinguished guests and fellow veterans and cherished, com cherished community members, it is with profound gratitude and a deep sense of honor that I stand before you today as the commander of Howard Plant Post 782, Veterans of Foreign Wars, the oldest post in Vermont. Now, on, on this Veterans Day, we're gathering not only to honor the sacrifices of our veterans, but to reflect on the enduring values that have shaped our great nation. Now, as a Baptist minister, uh, as well as the executive director of the Vermont Racial Justice Alliance, co-chair of the Vermont Health Equity Commission, I've witnessed a lot of complexities of our society. It's a privilege to share with you today, especially on the recent 34th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall, a moment in history when I stood in those gates and experience the winds of change. We gather here to pay homage to the soldiers and the airmen and the sailors and the Marines and the Coast Guard who stood at the gates, providing the security and the protection of this great nation. Their tradition of dedication and sacrifice has been the bedrock upon which our freedoms stand. Today we express our deepest respect and appreciation for their service. Now in recognizing our veterans, we must acknowledge the consistent and unwavering contributions of black service members throughout this nation's history. Despite the nation's struggle to fully realize our articulated aspirations of liberty and justice for all, Black members have stood tall, making immeasurable contributions to our military. Their dedication, commitment, and sacrifice embody the true spirit of service. As we reflect on our collective history, it is essential to acknowledge the hand of God in all that we have experienced. In the face of adversity and uncertainty, our faith has been a guiding light, providing strength and solace to those who served and to our nation as a whole. Here in Burlington, our VFW post, alongside esteemed individuals like Senator Sanders, like Mayor Moreau Weinberger, and other representatives of our congressional delegation, it plays a vital role in our community. In response to the challenges posed by COVID-19 pandi COVID pandemic, our post became a beacon of hope by transforming into a community resource center. Looking ahead, our commitment to service remains unwavering. Plans are underway, as you've heard, to establish an overnight low barrier shelter for the houseless over the winter. An embodiment of our belief in leaving no one behind. Additionally, we're proud to announce the plans of this multi-use facility um, that's gonna produce mixed use housing units in a new home for the Community Justice Center in the coming years. Now these initiatives, they underscore the enduring spirit of our veterans and their commitment to the well-being of our community. Now as we celebrate Veterans Day, let us not only remember the sacrifices of the past, but also recognize the transformative power of service in shaping a brighter future for all. So thank you. Thank you to our veterans. Thank you, thank you to our community partners. 
in all those who believe in the value that define us as a nation. May we continue to stand united, proud of our history, and dedicated to the future filled with compassion, justice, and prosperity for all. Happy Veterans Day, and may God bless you all. I've got one additional presentation. Um, Larry, get over here. Yeah, you. Adjutant. You got to say something about this guy. <laughs> Your musicianship is genius. Your ability to collaborate with us. I know I've asked you to do some things that you hadn't thought that you would do before and you decided that you would use your gift to honor us and I thank you so much. Your partnership has been um, well before I joined the organization. How many years? It's too, it's too many, right, for, to remember. <laughs> but once again, when people say more, when people say thank you for your service to veterans, that means something to us. But when people say, I would like to join you, I would like to be a partner with you, how can I use my gifts and talents, my time, my wisdom, to help make your life a little better back home after your service? That's the kind of, that's the kind of magic that sticks with us, that inspires us, um, that creates community that we all need. So thank you for being part of the veteran community, Larry, over these years. And we would like to also offer you one of our unit, co our post coins. This concludes the commemoration uh, to 2023 uh, Veterans Day. Thank you all for coming again. Happy Veterans Day. I would like to thank everyone that comes to our Veterans Day ceremony. My name is Ramona Gordon. I'm from post 782 Auxiliary in Burlington. It's an honor for me for years to be. How many years? 67 years. The oldest member of the VFW of the state of Vermont. I would also like to thank all my sisters of the BFW and Post 782. And as everyone that has came all the years to Battery Park. Thank you. Hi, I just want, I'm Joan Shannon. And I just want to say Happy Veterans Day to all of the veterans. Uh, express my appreciation for the sacrifice that you have all made. Um, I have deep appreciation for my own family members who are serving and have served uh, in our armed forces. And there's really no greater gift than you can give that you can give than the gift of yourself in service of our country. Thank you. It's a special day here in Burlington. It always has been. I don't think I've missed one more, more in the last 10 or 12 years. And to come down to honor our veterans and 
and uh, you know, I know it, you know we should honor him every day. I mean, in reality, that's what we really should do. Uh, but that doesn't happen. But uh, be able to come down here and uh, share. Uh, stories and talk with people and 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 really understand the commitment that these veterans made for all of us right um, and the sacrifice they gave us and I'm proud to be living in a city that recognizes that you know we need to take care of our veterans and uh, currently in Burlington right now we're we're building a facility that would uh, help home some of the veterans uh, house some of the veterans and uh, I hope we continue to work I know we have a lot of committed people in the community. Ernie Pomelo was here today. Y you know, uh, Bernie Sanders, Senator Sanders was here, Merle Weinberger. There's a lot of people in this community that care about our veterans, and I think that's important, and I think that's one of the reasons why I've always said that Burlington is a very special place to live. Okay, I'm here I'm at Veterans Day in Burlington 2023. At the moment, that my sisters in Gaza are being bombed and their children are being killed, often under concrete falling on their heads. And these bombs that are falling on them and these airplanes flying over them are provided by the U.S. military. And I'm just wishing that the veterans here who have served their country will think about the devastation that war causes and that they will join the peace movement and speak out now for a ceasefire, a ceasefire in Gaza and a way to arrange for Israelis and Palestinians to live together. That has to be determined and our country will play a big role in that. Thank you.